At a time where Real Madrid were willing to offer nearly 200 million euros for Kylian Mbappe, despite just one year being left in his contract, and Cristiano Ronaldo returning to Manchester United for 15 million euros plus 8 million in bonuses, Bayern Munich signed Marcel Sabitzer from RB Leipzig for 16 million euros, all inclusive. Doesn't look all fair, right? When PSG, Real Madrid, Manchester United, Manchester City, Chelsea are making big money signings, Bayern Munich quietly did their business and signed one of the most versatile midfielders in the Bundesliga for such a cut price deal. But how good is Sabitzer really? Where exactly does he fit into the Bayern Munich system? Let's take a look. Marcel Sabitzer is really a jack of all trades. He can play as a winger or on either side, a number 10, a number 8 and even a number 6. Playing mostly as a central midfielder under Julian Nagelsmann last season, he played a total of 27 games scoring 8 goals and assisting 4. It has to be noted that no player in the Bundesliga had scored more goals from central midfield position than Sabitzer. Bayern Munich have a number of goal scoring players. Robert Lewandowski, Serge Gnabry, Leroy Sané, Kingsley Coman, Thomas Muller, they're always creating and scoring goals. Even Leon Goretzka scored 5 goals in the league last time and Kimmich also has a knack for scoring goals in important games. The arrival of Sabitzer brings another goal scoring option for Bayern Munich from the midfield. Though it isn't exactly known which position Bayern have signed Sabitzer for, he is likely to be rotated with Müller, Goretzka and Kimmich. With Toliso not really in Bayern's plans and Mark Roca probably not up to the mark right now, Sabitzer offers a little insurance in midfield that Bayern Munich has certainly been lacking. And it isn't the goal scoring or playmaking ability of Sabitzer that makes him a great fit at Bayern. Sabitzer is known to produce 1.4 tackles and 1.6 interceptions per 90 minutes. Since Sabitzer is already accustomed to the Julian Nagelsmann system, the club can expect him to start delivering from game one. In fact, if only statistics are to be considered, Sabitzer sits a little ahead of players that he has direct competition with, Kimmich and Goretzka. If the entire Bundesliga careers are considered, Sabitzer has a goal involvement every 186 minutes. Kimmich, on the other hand, has one goal involvement every 187 minutes and Goretzka 196. In terms of chances creation, Kimmich leads the list with 415 chances to his name in the league so far, while Sabitzer is at 229 and Goretzka at 214. Sabitzer started out as a winger, but just like the case was with Bayern icon Bastian Schweinsteiger, he was converted into a central midfielder by Nagelsmann. Yes, Sabitzer can still be used as a winger whenever the need arises, but the rise of Jamal Musiala is likely to see him not compete for those spots. And that's not even all, Sabitzer is also an excellent free kick taker. In fact, of the 7 direct free kicks that RB Leipzig had converted last season, 3 were scored by Sabitzer. The Austrian also has a great shot from distance. Since 2016, no player in the Bundesliga has scored more goals from outside the box than Marcel Sabitzer. To be precise, it's 12. Yes, this was all about his statistics and attributes, but Sabitzer is also a leader. Bayern Munich, in fact, have signed the RB Leipzig captain in Sabitzer. The departure of David Alaba reduced experience from Bayern's roster, but Sabitzer's inclusion compensates for that very well. In the end, we'll have to see how quickly and efficiently Sabitzer gets himself into the winning mentality that is very important for a Bayern player. After all, at Bayern, it's mentality that's more important than your attributes. That was all from me today. I hope you guys liked this episode. Do let me know of your views on this episode and Marcel Sabitzer. Until the next time, Auf Wiedersehen.